So you take the sprocket off, and then there's a retaining clip here to stop the pins pushing out. I loosened it already. And then on the old ones, there is a risk that these pins are seized anyway. Oh, I need that, there you are. But yeah, they, they are seized sometimes. Let me get a, a little push rod. This is your, is your best friend here, like this one. Let's see if, ah, oh, there you go. Look at that. Lovely. Good. Great. And we're down to the valves. Now, we can use our valve compressor tool. pop them out I'm not going to film this part guys you've seen me do this before popping valves out using the, the kit Tools are cheaper nowadays. In the, in the past, you wouldn't get a kit for whatever that was. I can't remember what that was. But it's done me good every time. The only thing you might need to do is, once you've compressed it, if they're not popping easily, give it a little tap with a hammer, and that will do its thing. The other thing is um, a big magnet. I've got a big magnet to catch the retaining clips, because if you lose them, it's game over to an extent. You'd have to order new ones. So. I need all three out, sadly, I'm not reusing them. It's not sad, actually, it's good. I'm not reusing them, but we're not reusing them. So, the three new ones will need to be worn in, as in ground in. And, uh, yeah, but let me get these out in my hands for now, so that we know exactly where we're going. Again, I'm not gonna film it, it's boring. So, that was pretty successful. We've got all the springs set up down here. I'm gonna keep it all in the box. All the retaining clips are down there. Valves are out, no damage to the seats, that's very lucky there. And of course a lot of damage to the valves, that one's pretty bent, you can see. Um, that's not the bent ist, that one's uh, fairly bad, you can see the extent of that. And that one is of course fairly bad as well. So uh, so actually, uh, what, what, what ruined this engine was um, one uh, spring that should have been in the tensioner. Um, wasn't and and that blew this engine up now I, I I cannot for the life of me work out how the spring disappeared um, but it's such a low mileage engine that this I don't know base it's been left out it could have been left out from factory for all we know and it's just kind of managed up until recently and um, when I was jiggling the chain in there the the tensioner screw itself was loosening as I was just jiggling the chain so I don't know, it's a huge mystery. I also don't know if these valves are available. I don't know. Um, they say something on the top that might help in identifying them. Um, Fowler's parts is my go-to. Uh, it's like a D and Q, or D and A, D and Q. Um, Fowler's parts are my go-to, but it's such a new engine, there may not be um, valves available yet, so we'll see. If there is, I think it's an okay fix here guys. I think I need to get um, a new shroud, a new head gasket for, um, you know, ideal, is, is ideal. I will, I will get one. Um, I need to grind the valves in. I've got the grinding paste and I've got all that, that's fine. And, and oh, the spring itself. I need the spring itself. I can't mess around with that. Do you know what? Ideally, a whole new tensioner actually will make me feel better whole new tensioner i'm going to look into that and if i can get all the parts we could save this thing um it's it's a saving to a second hand engine but it's a lot of time and effort i got here today at nine o'clock um i did the mot but i've spent many many hours doing the engine today so yeah it's not a quick fix. It's not a cheap fix, actually. Them valves won't be as cheap as they should be. The rest of the parts won't be. Um, I will probably buy the correct tool for this 
just to have it, I think, if, if these Piaggio engines are using that, or a multi-set that has them in. And then it'll be a really long couple of days putting this engine back together, that's the truth, and then trying to wrestle it into the bike. But it's such a lovely feeling when it goes well. So at the moment, we've got a cylinder head that is okay. Um, we need three valves. We need a new tensioner or at least a spring. We need a new shrouding for cooling. Although, to be fair, if that's not available, I only took a minimal amount off. It wouldn't worry me too much. Um, it's just not good practice doing what I did. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna wrap up today. Uh, someone gave me a voucher for TK Maxx um, recently. I'm gonna go to TK Maxx in a, a little shop. Uh, it's rare that I buy stuff for myself, and it's, it's really, really rare um, that I buy things for myself, so uh, I should sometimes. Uh, guys, I know that people, um, I get I get quite a lot of criticism sometimes about certain things. This, people won't like this. You're out on the open, you're putting things on the floor. Um, that's coming up a lot at the moment. Why are you putting things on the floor? Go and work on a bench. I haven't got a bench. And also, I can have a bench. I just don't want one. I, there is... This, there's something, this is me laying on the floor, rolling around. I'm like a, a pig. Um, this is, this is, I'm happy with this. If I ever get to the stage where my body doesn't like this, I'll have to look at other stuff, you know? But for now, I love this part of the garage. It's a bit rough and a bit, a bit edgy, isn't it? And it's, and that's fine. The Escargo is, is three grand all day long. All day long, it's three grand. Uh, if I can get an MOT on it. Now, currently everything works. It, it, it doesn't overheat all of that works it doesn't leak all the seals are a bit bad but it doesn't leak so um and it's a running riding braking car so i'm going to get underneath and i'm going to look at any kind of potential rust repairs that's why i've boosted it up now um i'm hoping there isn't any i know it's been under sealed its whole life so i'm hoping any small outbreaks can be um, patched up pretty quickly and easily and i know some welding has been done on the seals recently so um, structurally, I think it is solid. That's my, that's my hope. So I'm gonna slide under there. I'm gonna have a good look around. Any areas that, um, that look like they've got surface rust on, I'll be cleaning. And um, I wanna use something, probably a black hammerite, I think, um, to give it some protection. But I'm gonna slide under, I'm gonna have a look around. If I can film, if you'll see anything, it's probably too dark, I'll get some filming done. But otherwise, you know, Otherwise, we know bits and pieces. I mean, you can see here structurally, it, it, it's it's pretty good, eh? So good, actually. And then we've got the seals are good. I can see the seals are good. Not sure how well you can see this, but straight away it looks pretty solid. I think this is the fuel tank. Definitely got surface rust. I will definitely consider hammerizing that just to give it some extra um, protection. But that is surface rust. I'm actually going to clean that off with a scotch pad so that it's really clear it is surface rust. It, otherwise, it looks spot on. It looks absolutely rock solid. I think there's a patch there from an old repair. I just need to make sure that is nice and sealed properly again. I'm probably gonna get some black hammerite on there. Exhaust looks pretty much brand new. Um, wow, it, it is solid. Honestly, I have no concerns at this stage. I'm gonna kind of slide under it. I'll definitely just do this area here because it's, you know, because it's there, it's in your face. Otherwise, I can't see any nasty rust on here. What's on these brake lines? Ugh. This Are they slightly wet? No, they've been covered. That's great, That they've, they've been sealed. Okay. Do you know what? I'm, I'm happy. I might, I, I might, like I said, black hammer. I might do bits and pieces. I think I'm going to actually just to give it a bit more protection. Or is it better to use some sort of product? Look, it looks wet, but it's not. Someone's coated them and done a good job. Or do I go to Halfords and get some sort of specialist oil treatment or whatever it is? I'm going to have to think about this. Hammerite might, might not be the right way forward. This is so cool. Look, Nissan exhaust. Brand new. 
I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm going to do this little bit here. I'm going to look online, see what Halfords have, and uh, go and pick some up. I think why it's up on the ramps. You'd be nuts not to. But let me just flake away the petrol tank for now and uh, just clean it up. So, a uh, wire brush and scotch pads take off most of the, well, all of the loose rust really. I'm going to give it a good douse now with a brake cleaner and then black hammerite smooth to give it a little bit of uh, long term protection. Sadly, I can't get on top of this tank, but actually, from what little I can see, it's pretty clean up there. So, hopefully, this will give it a few more years. Um, the only other bit I want to do is that patch there, not for any reason, but it might just neaten it a bit, might just make it look less obvious. Other than that, I think it's MOTable. This tyre, to save on funds, I'm skint at the moment. I might switch to the um, to the under seat one. I think it's the same. And then put that back in the bag. Um, and I'll have a can of, uh, you know, uh, tyre weld stuff in, in as well. Because I think they have to pass it if you've got that. Uh, and then, yeah. And then sadly, this thing will have to be sold. I've got the four wheel hubs now. I'm going to do a second coat of white at some point on these just to thicken it up. Really, they should be dipped and done properly. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going for 7K. I'm going for, you know, maybe 3K. So, I think that will, yeah, it will justify it. There's, of course, little bits and pieces people can do to this. If I had a, an extra grand, right, I'd be wrapping the whole thing. I'd wrap the whole thing. Uh, in, in a fresh new colour. I don't know what they would do with any kind of imperfections like this. Maybe smooth them down and wrap it because it would pop out. Or maybe just go over it and minimise the impact. Right, I'm going to continue. Check out the difference this has made. I'm so, so pleased. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's caked, but that is exactly what you want because it's a rust inhibitor. It will get rid of rust um, I now need to consider what's next there isn't kind of many areas in here that need it really look so slight surface rust I might even that patch there there's just something that annoys me it's the lip the weld lip but that's very normal um, I may put some over it just to help me feel better but it's not achieving anything it's not it wouldn't be doing anything um i don't know how the um the under seals work the oils or uh, i've always thought under seals were oils so i don't know what how they work do you just do you just paste them on but then i guess that's no good if you haven't cleaned it eh uh, i think i'm gonna go over that patch there because in my head it's just something that bugs me i'm gonna give it a good clean and scuff and then i'll um Car, uh, boat brake clean it as well and I'll just go over that patch and while I'm down there I'll have a look just see if there's anything else really obvious because uh, anything we see now we can patch up we've got the hammer right? and it's uh, it's good stuff these are uh, brackets again a bit of surface rust but actually they're okay um, if I had some black I'd be uh, spray black I'd be spray blacking bits of that but again I don't think it's much of an issue really 